السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا تقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كلام الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار Verily all praise is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and all thanks is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We praise Him, we seek His assistance and we seek His forgiveness and we seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the evil that is within our souls and from the evil that results from our deeds Whomsoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides, none shall misguide them. And whomsoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows to be led astray, none shall guide them back to the straight path. I bear witness that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah. And I bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his final messenger and prophet. Allah tells us in the Quran, O you who believe, be God conscious and, and fear him as he deserves to be feared. And do not die except as Muslims. Allah also tells us, O mankind, fear your Lord, be God conscious, who has created you from one soul, and created from it its mate, and from both many men and many women. And fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by whom you ask of one another, and by the wombs that bore you, verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ever watchful over you. O you who believe, be God conscious, fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, speak the truth, you'll render your deeds righteous, and he will forgive your sins, and whoever obeys Allah and the, la and, <coughs> and the messenger has indeed achieved a great victory. Verily, the best of speech is the speech of Allah, and the best guidance is the guidance of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa For the worst of affairs is all of that which is of religious innovation, for all innovation is misguidance, all misguidance leads to hell. Brothers and sisters, we are living in an unprecedented time where the rules of Allah, sunnatullah al kawniyyah the rules of Allah, the ways how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the principles that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has set down for us 
is, are becoming increasingly under attack. Moralities, truths, values are being questioned. Senseless murders. Those who defraud others are at the top of the society. And those who are honest are left at the bottom of society. And the Prophet wasallam sums up this situation in this hadith that we will be exploring today. And that as, as we get closer and closer to the day of judgment, you will see more of this facade, this kind of moral corruption. And the Prophet wasallam he said, إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُبْغِضُ الْفُحْشِ وَالْتَفَحْشِ Verily, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala detests what is vulgar and those things that are foul. In behavior, in speech, in manners, whatever it is. وَالَّذِي نَفْسُ مُحَمَّدٍ بِيَدِهِ لَا تَقُومَ السَّاعَةِ حَتَّى يُخَوَّنَ الْأَمِينَ And by whom in which Muhammad sallallahu soul is in his hands, yani Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the hour will not be established until the trustworthy one is betrayed. And the one who is a liar, the one who is untrustworthy, they are the ones that people believe. Hatta yadhar. Al-fuhsh wa tafahush Until indecency, lasciviousness, immorality, all of these sort of things, until they appear. وَقَطْلِعَةُ arham And the cutting of ties of kinship. وَسُوءِ jiwar And bad relationships with those who are near us, specifically our neighbors. And then the Prophet ﷺ, he gave us the antidote, the fix, the solution when we are living in such uncertain times, when we don't know what we should do in these difficult times, here the Prophet ﷺ gives us the solution. Seems simple, but very effective. And he says, وَالَّذِي نَفْسُ مُحَمَّدٍ بِيَدِهِ And by one in whose soul, or in whose hands my soul is, yani Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, إِنَّ مَثَلَ الْمُؤْمِنِ لَكَ مَثَلِي القطعة من الذهب نفخ عليها صاحبها فلم تغير ولم تنقص والذي نفس محمد بيده إن مثل المؤمن لك مثل النحلة أكلت طيبا ووضعت طيبا ووقعت فلم تكسر ولم تفسد وفي رواية مثل المؤمن مثل النحلة لا تأكل إلا طيبة ولا تضع إلا طيبة so here, after the Prophet ﷺ talks about the signs of the Day of Judgment, of moral corruption, etc., he gives us two parables. Yani parables are examples, imageries that you can think of to implement. And you find these parables all over the Qur'an, you find it also in the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. And here he gave us two parables. He says, the parable of the believer, the example of the believer, is that they are like, that, that, that mu'min is like a piece of gold. If the owner of, the, of this gold was to blow on it, it doesn't change. It doesn't go down in value. And brothers and sisters, if we look at this uh, hadith, this section right here, the believer is like gold. You cannot help but think about how with this inflation going on and talks of a recession, gold is one of those things that is constant. Its value does not change. Its value is stable. And here the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ says that if the owner of the gold was to blow on this piece of gold, it doesn't change. Its value doesn't decrease. In other words, your value is from within, brothers and sisters. And so many times, people around the world, since the beginning of time, they seek outside things to give them value. They seek 
uh, status, whether it's clothing or the car that they drive or the subdivision that they live in or the way how they look and they seek validation from those sort of things. And here the Prophet ﷺ says, if the owner of this gold was to blow on it, it doesn't change. In other words, the trials and tribulations that should come to it, even if I gave you a piece of gold right now and I smashed it into pieces and I threw it in the dirt, you would still happily say, doesn't do anything because it's still gold. So the trials and tribulations that come to you, brothers and sisters, no matter how much they are, how difficult they are, they will not decrease you in your value. And you might wonder, what is this value that we are referring to? The value of Islam. Everything in this world that you have is nothing compared to the value of Islam. In fact, Malik bin Dinar, he gave this example before he closed for the second khutbah. He said, if this world, if you had gold, follow, pay attention, if you had gold, yafna, if you had gold that was not going to stay with you forever, and you had earthenware, like pots and pans, you know, pots or plates made of clay, right? And those things stayed forever, it would make sense for someone to say, well, the earthenware is more valuable than the gold because it stays longer. But what about when the dunya is the earthenware that will not stay forever and the akhira is the gold that will stay forever? What are we seeking? Where are our priorities? Where are our values? أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم نساء المسلمين فاستغفروا إنه هو الغفور الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وبعد brothers and sisters you will hear of statistics and people sounding the alarm about how Muslims, you know, small percentage, are leaving Islam for whatever reason it is. Maybe it is some personal trauma that they went through. Maybe it's because they don't understand how to figure out the problem of evil in this world. Whatever the problem is. Whatever it is that the person seeks to replace. Remember the verse of Allah. أَتَسْتَبْدِلُونَ الَّذِي هُوَ أَدَنَا بِالَّذِي هُوَ خَيْرٍ do you seek to replace something that is of lesser value than what is of better value? We all know that in a blink of an eye, none of us can guarantee our life in the next second. So what is important, brothers and sisters? Let's look at the continuation of the hadith where the Prophet ﷺ gives us the next solution. And he says, The believer is like a honeybee. Yes, the Prophet ﷺ said, like a honeybee. In, in another narration, لا تأكلوا إلا طيبة. The honeybee eats only what is good, what is pure, what is clean, what is halal, what is beneficial. And so the believer, during these uncertain times, you have to watch what you are consuming. Whether it is of your income, whether it is of your wealth, whether it is of your food, whether it is of the information that you look on your cell phones. Those things, you should only consume what is good. Because when you consume what is bad, what is forbidden, what is doubtful, and specifically in the matters of the religion, if the inside is filled with unclean things, then nothing clean will come out of it. And look what the Prophet ﷺ says. What is the result of this honeybee? And because it eats only the purest and the choicest of, of pollen, what is the outcome of this pure pollen? Pure liquid gold honey. 
And Allah tells us in the Quran, فِيهِ شِفَاءٌ لِلنَّاسِ in, there is a cure in it for people. And finally, the Prophet wasallam, he describes the believer. He says, this honeybee, وَوَقَعَتْ, وَوَقَعَتْ فَلَمْ تُكْسَرْ And wherever the honeybee lands on the flower, you notice that the honeybee does not destroy, does not break the flower. It takes what is only necessary from the flower, extracts what it needs, and then it goes along its merry way onto the next flower. So beautiful. Sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And so in your use of resources, brothers and sisters, be like the honeybee. Be gentle. Take only what you need. In fact, science, scientists have proven that when honeybees discover... <clears throat> When they discover a source of food, and let's say a tree or a bush, whatever, they will know by the, by the power of Allah, they will be able to survey how much pollen can they extract from this. And if there is a lot, they will selectively only take what is needed to not use all of it at once. And when they take this resource back home, what do they do? Do they keep it only for the one bee that found it? No. They share the resources with everyone else. And so, brothers and sisters, during these times where there are times of uncertainty, of chaos, of fitna, of trials and tribulations, this is the advice of the Prophet ﷺ. To find value in yourself, and that is through Islam, and to eat only what is halal, and to give off what is good, and to be gentle and fair in your dealings. In Allah, Malaikatahu Salluna ala Nabi, Ya Yuhaladina Amen, O Sallu, Alayhi was Salimu Taslima, Lahoma Sali ala Mohammed, Wala Ali Mohammed, Kama Salaita ala Ibrahim, Wala Ali Ibrahim, Inna Kahamidu Majid, Wabarak ala Mohammed, Wala Ali Mohammed, Kama Barakta ala Ibrahim, Wala Ali Ibrahim, Inna Kahamidu Majid, Rabbana Atina fi Dunya Hassana, or Fil Akhirati Hassana, or Kina Ada Benar. ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب وأقم الصلاة